sports physiotherapy is twofold. Um, firstly, it's about reacting to treat um, any injuries. So if a player's injured, then it's about making sure they get the appropriate treatment to get back playing as quickly as possible. It's also about making sure that their body is fit for golf, pardon the pun. Um, and it's about making sure they have the right postures. So can they get into position and hold it? Um, do they have the correct flexibility? So are they able to get into position? And probably thirdly would be, can they move correctly? So do they have the right movement um, patterns to be able to perform at an optimal level? It's Im important to make sure that they're not out of golf for any um, length of time, so to make sure they return to sport quickly. So it's about making sure we can direct them to appropriate treatment as quickly as possible, and if they need investigated, get that done as quickly as possible. Um, and it's also about making sure that they take responsibilities for, or responsibility for making sure that they have they keep their bodies in good, good condition. So it's about making sure they are responsible for getting into the correct positions, they have good flexibility and that they can move correctly. And it's making sure as a result of travel when things can tighten up, that they actually have the correct strategies to deal with that. I think we have become far more proactive. Um, initially, back in the day, physiotherapy, you only uh, contacted physio if you were injured. Now it's hugely about um, injury prevention. For instance, if you can't play, you can't make money at the, at the top end. It's as simple as that. Um, and it's also about trying to get the best out of their bodies from a performance perspective. So it's all performance driven these days. So it's about um, looking at their swing, looking at what their limitations are and seeing is, is it something physically that's restricting them. For instance, if they can't rotate fully through the middle of their back, they're never going to be able to get into that correct position at the top of their back swing and do that consistently. Doing lots of different sports from a young age is really important to making sure your physical development is, is optimised. If we do the same movement patterns again and again and again without anything different, we're in danger of, of tightening bits within the body. Um, being in a good posture is so important. Basically, if you're, if you're stand up tall and you're in a good position, firstly, we need that to intimidate our competitors. I think that's very important. And secondly, to make sure that we, we get the body in the right position to be able to move. I often um, use blue tack as a good analogy. If you take cold blue tack and stretch it, it snaps. Um, it's the same with the body. Um, if you go cold into something, you're at risk of injury. If we warm the body up properly, then it's likely to move um, better. Also as well, you need to try and give the body a kind of clue what you're trying to do. If you're sitting in a chair all day, you travel in a car to a tournament, you're switching on all the, the muscles at the front of the body. In golf, it's about utilising the muscles in the back and you kind of got to switch that on before you play to let your body know how, what you want it to do. Yeah, obviously during the season, if there are players that aren't working on the things that they should, then yes, they do try to avoid, avoid me because they know exactly what I'm going to which, what I'm going to tell them. What I find is that the best players are proactive, they seek out the support, they are doing the work, so they want to know what's going well and what isn't going so well, um, so that they can then work on, work on things. The best players question you. You know a good player when by the end of a session you feel like you're one of the, that you've been hit by the Dementors from Harry Potter and it's sucked the soul out of you um, because basically they've asked you so much. And the best players also are very reflective and hard working and there's no shortcuts in this. It's about hard work, um, it's about being reflective and it's about making changes to move yourself forward.